Say, yeah, Jay-Z, Ja Rule, and Diddy was in the room together. And then you turned to your big, I tried to tell you four months ago, baby, you should stop saying you was in the motherfucking room. And you haven't said nothing about that day you've been. That's why I know you asked me to listen to my videos. You haven't said nothing about being in that bathroom when Diddy with them two white girls in that jacuzzi when you said he asked you to bring up something and did you want to join or some shit? And you said no. Now, if I'm not going to say allegedly because that's what you said. You also said that you see Kim Porter, um, you took, you went to the hospital, she had stabbed him with a corkscrew. You also said that Usher was, had to go to the hospital, but you, you said Usher had to go to the hospital, but that's not my story to tell. The man said, the lawyer Tony Busby said, that's what he said, hold on, I'm going to get the, he said, we're doing individual cases and the individuals and the cowardly individuals who were complicit bystanders who watched and did nothing even the ones that egged it on all the per uh, precipitators as well as the facilitators in case you guys don't know a facilitator is like when someone facilitates something it's like i could be a facilitator over an event i i could orchestrate it I can lead the event. I can speak at the event. I can tell you the order of the event. If I was at a sex party, it may be like Gene Deal or Jaguar Wright or Cat Williams that always knows something. Hey, Luke Skywalker, remember you said you lead a party, but then you leave the girls behind. Then they come back and they tell you something later. Sound like a motherfucking pimp to me. Sound like somebody going to be looking for your ass too. Y'all talk too much. Hey, Steven Jackson, the one that's so bad about Diddy, you so mad. Hey, everybody, Steven Jackson, go look that video up with Steven Jackson and Luke Skywalker. He's singing a different tune now. Nah. Steven Jackson. Not the hood, Steven Jackson, the one. Steven A. Smith, my bad, Steven Jackson. Hold on. Let me make a disclaimer. Steven Jackson is my bad, Steve. It's not him. I'm talking about Steven A. Smith. Not Steven Jackson, my bad. Listen. Don't, hey, I said my bad, not Stephen A, not Stephen Jackson. Correction, Stephen, it's two Stephen Jacksons anyway. It didn't look like this, ain't a professional. Stephen A. Smith. Go look that interview up with Stephen A. Smith and Luke from Two Live Crew. Now, just a couple months ago, they were singing a different tune. And that's the one where Luke Skywalker said he needed the parties early because Stephen A. Smith sounded like he was trying to entrap him and Luke caught on. But Luke had been on all things. He says... Diddy is a nice guy. Diddy is a, I think he said he's a charming guy, a, some kind of words. Hold on. Hold on. It says, this is what the man said. Tony Busby. He said, anyone who engaged, facilitated, were in the room. <clears throat> did, did remember you was in the room with the two white girls because you said you walked in the room, then he called you in, and then you went in, and he, he told you to give him a, something, and he asked you, did you want to join? And then you said you was outside the room or something, standing by the door, or somebody knocked on the door, then Jaru came out because him and Diddy was in the room. Hey, Orlando Brown, the one to keep on talking about, it's going to be Diddy when you do. All of a sudden, now Diddy in jail, your stupid ass. You first, you was crying about them ta if, allegedly taking advantage of you. Then you was calling Diddy daddy, motherfucker. Then you're talking about now somebody, Michael Jackson. And now you get your little silver chains on. Now you look like the old Orlando. And now Diddy in jail. And you the one who been doing all them videos talking about it's going to be Diddy Wade. You were talking about those Diddy parties, Orlando. They don't have to proper. I told you people a whole year ago, I said, I'm telling you, you guys need to learn about the law. You do not have to participate in the crime. They can get you an accessory, acting in consort, not reporting a, I already told you, if it's a violent crime and you're there, you don't report it, that's technically against the law. That's why when you be at crime, somebody get lose their life, somebody get R-A-P-E-D, somebody get beat up, you probably shouldn't tell nobody. Okay, say, um, anyone who watched, 
but did nothing to stop it. Uh -uh, G Deal, here's the other one. They said, because remember you said you was in law enforcement, G Deal. It said, they did nothing to stop it, did not report it, or they covered it up, or they got paid to, or APE, or do anything. He's been charged with or a PE violence XXX assault, compelling prostitution, sexual abuse, assimilation of a video recording. That means I can take 10 seconds from one video, put it with another. AJ hey, did remember you said the only reason why nobody never did nothing new because you had some of those tapes, the VH1 or beta. VH1 or beta. Would it be happy to be some of those tapes that you may have been on? Were you on the video? It, this is the thing. G deal. I find it, uh, now I'm glad, I don't never agree with Torsten White, but I'm glad he finally said what I've been saying for the longest. I find it hard to believe that a six feet three man was just allowed to stay around and you seen all these things happen. And I told him you acted like a hoe cause you kept going back and back for more. I find it hard to believe that you have never participated in none of these parties. You may not have did nothing with Diddy, but it's, you said, I saw an old video, you said he he just got uh, a certain way and he forgot about all the people that helped him that was there. You was there from the beginning because you said you was there at that city college and all the nine people died. Then you said Diddy don't listen. You should have called the police then. Oh, I forgot you said you was working the law enforcement. I told you if you was a law officer and it came out that you didn't report these crimes, he was going to jail. I just wonder if I just wonder if Cat Williams had um Hazel over there. Cause Lord knows Hazel got that baby. She going through I, I don't know a divorce, but I know one thing, if I was Hazel, this would be a good time to speak up because they said Tiara Marie was underage. I wonder if that's why Hazel and Tiara Marie met each other at Diddy House. Cause Hazel did just pop out of nowhere. She was messing with that rapper, Young Bird. Young bird don't have anything to do with this. I'm just naming him. Uh, it named him because that's who she was dating allegedly. The nine-year-old was taken to an addition, um, taken to an addition with, hold on, with bad boy records. Oh, he was he was at an audition for bad boy records, allegedly uh, taken to uh, actually abused by Sean Combs and others. This the nine-year-old with a promise of a record career, he say, a promise to him and his parents. So did his parents do the same thing a lot of people accusing Ale Aaliyah parents of doing? Mine, oh, Reggie White got so much to say. Reggie White, Gene Deal said on that other interview, something about the day that Biggie died, he saw you or something and y'all didn't talk to each other. Reggie White, what do you got to do with all this? You got a lot of information. You the same one that said on that interview and said you think Sparkle had something to do. Sparkle regret what she did to her niece. How the fuck she regret what she did to her niece when she was sleeping with R. Kelly, her own self? Sparkle was sleeping with R. Kelly, so why would she want a 12-year-old? No, she probably introduced her niece like she said, and she didn't know that old man was messing with her niece. She lost her whole family behind that. Sparkle could have blackmailed or killed if she just wanted money. And she was pretty and she treated her like a princess. Gave her, gave her every... I know a lot of people in Chicago and, and got people in Chicago back then. A lot of people said Sparkle wasn't hurting for no money. They said R. Kelly treated her like she was his woman even though he was... Um, fucking around with the other dancer, whatever, and Aaliyah. And R. Kelly never said a one thing. He never said nothing bad about Sparkle. Now you're always, they need to go pick up Drea Kelly too. When are y'all gonna go get that bitch out of, out of um, that dance studio while she stayed over here making provocative videos? She has no remorse. Drea Kelly, Michelle, um, Drea Kelly, Mary J. Blige, and if Barack Obama, the president, was really over there with Diddy, his ass need to be in jail, too. Because I could say something about Barack Obama, but I'm not going to do him like that. Because, you know, Barack Obama wasn't always the president. Go look through some of his pictures and see who you see on there with him. Then tell me where they from. Tell me Barack Obama don't got no connections in St. Louis, Missouri. On that note, I'm just going to let y'all, and it's not me. I don't know Barack Obama. 
Hold on. Let's see if we can get it. Hold on, you guys. Here goes the thing. Celebrity and royal reporter Kinsey Schofield. Kinsey, more revelations about Sean Combs, better known as P. Diddy. According to a report in page six, he once wanted Prince Harry and Prince William to join him on his uh, wild parties while they were still young bucks and getting into a lot of trouble themselves. Uh, what the more can you uh, tell the audience about purpose. this? And, and who are some of the big names that attended Diddy's uh, freak-off parties? No, and, and Prince Harry was even mentioned in a $30 million sexual assault lawsuit filed against Diddy earlier this year. Harry was used as an example of celebrities that are associated with Diddy, but also the kinds of shields that Diddy used to avoid consequences, though Harry is not accused of any wrongdoing. I don't know about... Okay, this is um, Rita Panahi and... um. Damn, I know her name. Hold on, let me make sure I get them credit. Give me a second. We gotta go back right quick, hold on. Keeping their head down, not saying anything right now. And I noticed Beyonce, Mariah Carey. So a lot of people keeping their head down. These uh -huh. events were Paris Hilton consequences, though Harry is not accused of any wrongdoing. I don't know about the freak offs, but page six reports some of the big celebrities at these events were Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian, Tommy Lee, Pam Anderson, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Mariah Carey. So a lot of people keeping their head down, not saying anything right now. And I noticed there's been a connection made with certain celebrities deleting their entire Peak ex Twitter awesome. histories um, in the last few days. And people are, uh, there's a bit of conjecture about whether. I want to say something. You guys do know that Chili is pictured with Diddy quite a few times. And Chili, the same one from TLC. Chili, the same one that was hanging out with Floyd Mayweather. Linked to Akon, linked to Usher when he was way young. Then she said when he was 13 years old, she knew he was underage. But she was wondering why she was having feelings like this. I'm going to find that interview and put her ass on her too. These women need to go to jail. If you run around there like Mary J. Blige, Danny Boy. I don't care if Danny Boy is gay or not. He said that woman put her put he looked up and she had a head between his legs that bitch need to be in jail Misa Hilton you going to jail too all that old back and forth and what J. Dill hold on J. Dill keep talking about everything else and he said that beat up Puffy and made him join the, and they had to join the gang he tried to run first but then they got him and then he turned back around and said Al, Diddy had a lot of dealers in Washington D.C. but that, that's where Apple was at or some shit and then he said they asked him, do we know if, if Diddy was working with the people, you know, those people. And he said, um, yeah, he was going to meet with some people in Washington. That's the same place that he claimed Apple was in. But Gene Diddy was friends with Apple, allegedly, according to him. So, and then they try to act like when Apple got out of jail, he messed with transsexuals. But all of a sudden, Misa Hilton was hanging out with him. And him and Misa Hilton and Mary J. Blige or somebody was going to allegedly do a movie about Apple life. Then he all of a sudden get out of jail and go to a Halloween party and get t his life taken away from a right by the damn police station. And they claim a transsexual with Diddy. What make y'all think that Diddy haven't been engaging in homosexual activities? What made a person think that Al Poe Martinez and Diddy probably wasn't messing around? That is why Missy Hilton felt so comfortable messing with her, with her sneaky, messy ass. The same way she allegedly messed with that man, Wolf. Then she messed with um, Al Poe. She a snake, and she, and I, I would if she was that scared of Diddy. I bet Misa, Diddy, and Mary J. Blige all been messing with each other for years. And Al Pro party was right along with him. And if Al Pro was with him and Gene Deal, the one who was, he said he Al, they tried to get him, and Diddy ran. They chased him down the block. Niggas sound like a goddamn. Uh, R A P I S T. What the hell is y'all chasing somebody underage, chasing them down and making them join a motherfucking gang? You sick bastard. That's probably why he never he turned his back on you when you there from the beginning. He never wanted to beat her. You chased him down and made him be in a gang according to you, lousy bastard. I hope they come like G Deal, sick ass up, along with Cat Williams, along with Jaguar Wright, along with Mary J. Blige, along with Misa Hilton, along with Mace, Mace. Mace and even Faith Evans, bitch. If you was there, you need to go to jail too. And 
Not through anybody that was abused. The reason why I say Faith Evans, because if you was done, you turn back around 20-something years later and fuck, fucking marry Stevie J. They need to lock your ass up, and you need to come clean and tell her to come clean and just tell the truth about Tupac. Because you probably did it because you was really, really mad at him. But you the one who was fucking married to Biggie while he was in the bed with a transsexual on a video. A, a video. So you been fucking with fuck boys.